Oh, I can go down this way. I don't remember being able to go this way before. Maybe I'm expected- can I- I think I can throw through levels. So maybe I can blow them up. I cannot throw through levels. I was a fool to think I could. Wow, they're losing their shit up there. Just go to bed. Just go to bed. Everything's fine. Everything is totally fine. Look, one of them went to bed. Go to bed. Thank you. Alright, that was very successful that time. This is the one where you can just jump. Can't see. No, it's not letting me read. I gotta get a little closer. Leap of faith. Because that means that's the end of the level now. So that was almost exactly like Abe's Odyssey, except I think he gets thrown into one other thing before he hits the ground. I think there's just a bit more injury before he falls and dies. Also, it never told you what the level was called, like that Monzaic Lines thing. You never really knew what it was called unless you like saved your game and looked at the load. Also, bats kill you. In Abe's Odyssey, they kill you in one hit. Let's access this stone and see what's up. Grave dangers await those who dare from Wudokan trials offer despair. And during the nest of creatures unrest is the task for those seeking the test. Brave beware for the old have told that only one shall be so bold. I think that's me you guys. Oh that was close. The wise will mimic for passage. Okay, so is it? Okay, okay it's R two. Okay, so up is do 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 do. Down is do do. Okay. Down, down, fart. Yeah. 
Oh, in Abe's Odyssey, they would just they just like vanished in a light. And also getting hit kills you instantly. I shouldn't have rushed in. See right here, I think this is where it tells you how to possess guys. Yeah. So like all those times I possessed a guy earlier in the game, normally you'd be not doing that because you just wouldn't know. And now they teach you some more maneuvers. Oh, you know, that's gonna be a lot easier to do. Because, like, before you'd be running, you'd have to press it right as soon as you reach the step in front of it. But since, like I said before, this isn't laid out in steps, it's laid out in kind of positioning, it kind of like locks you onto it. So, if I'm like a little late. Or even better, I can just mash until I get into the right zone. That's gonna be easier, because before in Abe's Odyssey, that'd fuck you up a lot. You'd miss your mark, and then you would just run at it, and then you would jump and look like an idiot, and then you would die. So that's not gonna happen here. So that's, that's smart. That's a change I can get behind. see what this has to say. Few paramites and scrabs inhabit these lands as millions have died at our own lost hands. Sacred they are to us who know, but face them he must to continue their show. Shrikal shall come from their spirits unrest to aid the victor after his after this quest. I don't think they mentioned Shrikal this early in the game in Abe's Odyssey. Oh, I think that just brings the thing back. Where to grab it? Yeah, I'm just going up. <clears throat> Down, up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, I didn't even fart at first. I crouched by accident, and then he let me go anyways. Maybe he just went easy on me. Didn't I didn't have to do the fart. Who can fart on command anyways? Also, that one shouldn't have been two nodes. They're supposed to get like all oh, levers work well. That's a great tip. Yeah, fart is like end of the message. And these it would and they're supposed to get longer too. I think like later on in the game you'll get a, you'll come across one that's like it goes like And it's tough. Oh, did that activate this thing here? Down, up, down, fart. Strange how Dawkins can just fart on command like that. What do you have to say? Single blue hands shall bear the brands and unleash their power to destroy false lands. Glucked ministers will fume in alarm as the shrike hall awakened halts the flesh farm. I like that uh, that these messages are ow little poems too, because before if you wanted poetry you'd have to wait for a cutscene, but now all the messages are well written, so I'm glad for that. Also, these guys don't need rescuing, because as you can see, they are not captive. This is... oh. The natives were wary of a factory-born face, but Abe was in awe of this spiritual place. Use bird portal chant, then jump through it. Another thing that I wouldn't know until now, but as you saw, I was doing it. So, 
simply because I've played Apes Odyssey a hundred times, this this game may lose a little bit when it comes to uh, replay value. But I guess technically I am replaying just Apes Odyssey. Get bell song here, then chant to bells here. Okay. And there's supposed to be bees coming up soon too. All right, square to grab on. Yeah, is this gonna tell me to beware the bees? Find bell song, then chant. Near bells. Okay, before there'd be a guy right here, one of those like resting, meditating guys. And if you had bees chasing you, you could lure the bees to them, and they would get rid of them for you. Yep, there's the bees. Oh, they're already on me. They're not gonna go away, are they just stuck on them? Okay. Damn it. I missed the jump. And they have little things to say too. Before they just made like pain noises until the bees went away. They definitely hold on to the bees a lot longer. Ouch. Alright, so let's give them the bees. Not the bees! Ding dong dong. Yeah, the bees things usually lasted. Like, you'd bring it to them, they'd get a little angry, and then they'd just leave immediately. But, uh, as you can see, they last a lot longer on the guy. Sucks for him. A thing that's kind of cool about that, or is also not cool, is if you if you know the song, you can possess it and play the song, but it still won't open the door. Like you actually have to go get the thing. Oh no, it's not letting me possess it. Pardon me again. That's weird. In Abe's Odyssey, you could possess the bells and just play play around with them. What did this one say? Chant and birds will heal. Oh, okay. Obviously, a thing that wasn't in Abe's Odyssey because you had no health. You just got hit and died. See what you have to say first. Our temples have grown dark since the maggot cartel enslaved the Mudokans. Ignite the holy fires by throwing flintlock levers wherever they are found. Only when all flintlocks are fired will you be admitted to the temple's initiation ceremony. It's up, down, up, down. Okay. Okay. Flintlock. More flintlocks remain in the Mudokan shrines. To light them all, Abe must leave the Monsake lines. Notice how I'm speeding through those ones because I can never tell when it's going to stop loading and then I just simply won't be able to do it. Leap of. Faith, another one? Okay, that's the way. I know I have to go that way. So let's check this way first. You will return. Okay, yeah. There's going to be a part where I get to choose what level I do next between two, and when you beat one, you reappear here. I just came to check to see if there was something I could get. 
Like how earlier I went to a spot that I knew I wouldn't need to be and got that one guy. <laughs> Gotta be ready for that stuff. So coming up, I'm gonna spoil it for you. There's supposed to be two gigantic, uh, like, big plants shaped like a paramite and a scrab. I'm really excited to see those in 3D. Born to those of lost history and labors of flesh, those within the conjured beast of monstrous appetite, of hardened shell and horrid burned breath, its heart of steel and... Oh, I'm reading this all over the place, aren't I? And Blade. The first shall bear witness and come forth. He frees his own before finding the others. Oh no, they didn't do the things. It was supposed to be here. Right here is where you're supposed to see those two big plants shaped like a paramite and a scrab. And then you'd be brought to the selection here. And then if you go over here, you see why you cannot proceed. Because there's a shit ton of mines. There's a guy right there. Pull the switch to see what it does. Alright, that activates them, so you get a look at what you're seeing. Let's see what this does. With power acquired, the red lightning sings, chant to release the havoc it brings. The Shrikal's power is given to he who is lucky enough to return from Paramony and Scrabania in one piece. And Shrikal is fucking cool, I'm excited to see that. Let's just chant to wake him up. Now I guess I just can't see very far, but in Abe's Odyssey there's like a ton of guys that are supposed to be over there, and then all these mines that you can't pass of course. So Paramony is the easiest so I'm gonna go with Paramony first. I saw a Paramonia, ancient and wild. Where Paramony How it was before he was a child. Cut them up for paramite pies? We cut them all up for paramite pies. That cutscene was cool. That was very different from Abe's Odyssey. Before it just showed like them running in the wild and there's like there'd be like a leader one on a pedestal. And then it just showed like them being in the meat factory. Yeah, they're kinda like they look a little like head crabs, I guess. They're kinda cool. They run on all fours and they have like their like mouths kind of look like hands. When they're alone, they just kind of like hang out. Yeah, when they're alone, they just kind of hang out and they'll follow you a bit, but in groups, they'll start like getting crazy and killing you. So you definitely want to stay away from Oh, I'm Elam. I forgot about Elam. We're going to see Elam real soon. He's a cool dude. Alright, so this is the new kind of mine. You press it, and then it has a timer, and then it goes off. And then you obtain rocks. Because rocks are nice to have. Can I not reach that ledge? I guess not. Oh, I guess I gotta go through there. Pull this. To activate that. Damn it, stop pressing up to enter that thing. That's old school. You can press up to grab that. No, I want to fall. And Elam's here, right? Elam? Yay! Alright. Oh, he's following me. Can I tell him to wait? Okay, he waits. I gotta hit that mine. All oh, those mines, I guess. Alright, I took care of all of them. My boy, Elam! Let's quick save it, because Elam jumping is a little tricky. Oh, that wasn't. Out of the forest, the Elam appeared. The journey to the temple was becoming weird. Aw oh, man, Elam's cool. He's my main man. Run, Elam, run. 
Okay, so normally right after this you're supposed to talk to a guy and give him a password. But I guess we're doing something different in New and Tasty. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going then, I guess. Nope, I'm gonna fuck up. Alright, you just wanna keep running. There's a part that looks an awful lot like this that I'm, I was expecting it to be at the end of the level where bees are chasing you. Oops. That's tough. It's tough playing this game and not using the step system to kind of time my jumps. Yep. <sighs> this is this is tough. I wonder if if parts like this would be easy for people that haven't played Abe's Odyssey. Cuz then they like maybe they wouldn't be expecting like they wouldn't be trying to use the the step system that I'm used to. Oh, whoops, I'm already on him. I quick saved on him, so it's fine. Now. Oh, that was fun. Don't get mad, get Elam. The Elam was strong and made traveling easy, but riding on its back left Abe feeling queasy. Oh, see, this is what I was expecting to see instead of that part. Hey there. Up, down, down, up, part. Okay, you can man. Thank you, sir. I remember this part. There's a lot of these little guiding lights that weren't as many before. Sneak up. Behind. It's like... I didn't really need that tip. But, uh... I guess I'll tell him to wait. Oh yeah, Elam, you don't have to say hi to, I don't think. I think you just say follow me and he will. Oh, when you press square, he just comes right onto the platform. That's nice. Oh yeah, he's got the fucking honey. I gotta use a rock to hit the beehive to fall down, and then the bees will annoy him into leaving. <laughs> 